Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Trump orders Sessions to end it, says it's dirty work and a disgrace to America. President Donald Trump just went after Attorney General Jeff Sessions to have him put an end to the Russia probe conducted slash organized by Special Counsel Robert Mueller. Trump stated via Twitter that Mueller was conflicted and suggested that he is angry Democrats doing dirty work in what Trump labeled as a rigged witch hunt. The Russian probe has turned into a bit of a sideshow, to say the least. Trump wants Sessions to squash Mueller and his probe. Democrats appear to be interested in continuing the probe. Everyone's screaming Russia, 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 not really everyone, just a figure of speech, and the whole thing has turned into a freak show like something you'd see at a political carnival. If anything, they should finish it up, get it over with, and carry on about their day so the rest of us can put the sideshow nonsense away and move on to the next scandal and accomplishment. It seems like there sure is quite a yin-yang approach to Donald Trump's presidency, but that seems to be the case with every president. Each man serving in the White House has had a share of haters, supporters, scandals, and accomplishments. It comes with the territory. Daily Mail provided more details on the pressure applied by Trump. Attorney General Jeff Sessions should stop this rigged witch hunt right now, the president tweeted. Bob Mueller is totally conflicted, and his 17 angry Democrats that are doing his dirty work are a disgrace to USA. The White House ignored a Wednesday Wednesday about whether Trump will push the envelope further and order Sessions to fire Mueller. Trump's mention of 17 prosecution lawyers is a reference to what he claims is an abundance of Democrats on Mueller's staff. The special counsel himself is a Republican. Sessions, who was a Trump campaign adviser and the first sitting senator to endorse his candidacy, recused himself from the Russia probe in March 2016 because he expected the campaign to be one focus of the investigation. That gave the reins to his deputy Rod Rosenstein, who later appointed Mueller. Trump has publicly criticized Sessions before, tweeting in June that the Mueller witch hunt was only proceeding because Jeff Sessions didn't tell me he was going to recuse himself. I would have quickly picked someone else. So much time and money wasted, so many lives ruined, and Sessions knew better than most that there was no collusion with the Kremlin," he added. The new tensions between the president and the nation's top law enforcer come as Mueller's team is prosecuting former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort on money laundering, tax evasion and bank fraud charges. The allegations in that trial, which began Tuesday, are related to Manafort's financial dealings long before he was involved in the 2016 election cycle. But firing Mueller would likely send a signal to Democrats that the White House is worried about potential blowback from a Manafort conviction just three months before the congressional midterm elections. Still, Trump went all in with a new intensity on Wednesday, opening up on Mueller and his team with both barrels of his massive Twitter following. Russian collusion with the Trump campaign, one of the most successful in history, is a total hoax, he wrote. The Democrats paid for the phony and discredited dossier, which was, along with Comey, McCabe, Strzok and his lover, the lovely Lisa Page, used to begin the witch hunt. Disgraceful. Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani, the former New York City mayor, has been making the TV rounds and claiming that collusion is not a crime. Trump doubled down on that assertion a day later. The word collusion isn't part of any federal law forming the basis of Mueller's investigation, but he has reportedly been looking at some of the president's tweets to supplement circumstantial evidence of obstruction of justice. California Democratic Rep. Adam Schiff tweeted a similar suggestion after Trump's morning burst. The President of the United States just called on his Attorney General to put an end to an investigation in which the President, his family and campaign may be implicated, wrote Schiff, the ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. This is an attempt to obstruct justice hiding in plain sight. America must never accept it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.